Hello everybody, welcome to day one of vlogging every single day of May. Today is gonna be a cold day. It's so cold! So for context, I'm here in Lebanon for the whole month with my best friends Adam and Rob and we're making a video every single day of May. It's gonna be epic. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. But today, we are going to be pushing our limits and it's gonna get very cold. Personally, I don't really have that much experience with the cold because I grew up in very hot countries. I was in India, Saudi Arabia and Senegal. But in 2019, I discovered Wim Hof and he's really famous for all the world records that he's broken. He has pushed the limits of what's possible in terms of cold exposure and it's so fascinating. I learned so much about the cold and how it's really beneficial for you. So I was really curious and I wanted to test it out for myself and I took a 30 day cold shower challenge and I ended up loving it. So I continued doing that for a whole year. So all of 2020, I was taking cold showers five to six times a week. You feel so refreshed instantly. You're in a good mood, you're ready to tackle the day and you just feel great. And also I was less sick. Usually I get a cold like twice a year. And only a couple months in, I was able to do something that I've never done before, which was swimming in four degree Lake Geneva in the middle of winter and I managed to stay there for three minutes. I was so proud of myself. I just went for a swim. It was so cold. <laughs> yeah, my skin is like really red right now, but it yes. was normal. so refreshing. I cut my foot as well. So that's kind of my background with the cold. But that being said, I haven't taken any cold showers in months, so I'm kind of terrified. <laughs> and to kick off this extreme cold day with the bang, of course, we had to start with an ice bath. My hands are already hurting. So we filled up the tub with water and added in lots and lots of ice. Oh. Claude joined us for the day and he was scared. Adam was kind of scared too. I was clearly terrified. And the only person who wasn't scared was Rob. I have never done an ice bath before. I swam in a cold lake. That's oh, it. Just one. Just one. <laughs> I think I'm the only one who already did an ice bath. Okay guys, I'm going in first. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. Oh no, it is cold, it is cold. Oh, wait, wait, someone says it's cold. <sighs> now Flo is taking her ice bath. How is she doing? Is she doing okay? Hi. Honestly, the first couple seconds were so hard because I was hyperventilating. It's so cold. It's so cold. It's so cold. Look, what's seven times six? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Oh, oh, like no. 42. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 42. Oh, wait, I just have to calm down and then it's good. And three minutes, 13, 14. Yay. Getting ready, where are we going? We're going to surprise, I'll tell you in the car. He'll tell us in the car. So right now we're going to Yahshush, one of the multiple hidden gems in Lebanon. We're gonna experience a more chill way to do some cold exposure. We need to climb this fence. Woo! Guys, we're in a tunnel. <laughs> it is so hot today. It's like almost 30 degrees Celsius. I'm so excited to swim. It's supposed to be an extreme cold day, but actually it's really hot. We'll just say it's a day of extremes. <laughs> and then we started to hike up a tiny path, and after a short while, it was as if we'd arrived in a small piece of paradise. And as I stared at this waterfall in complete awe, I couldn't be more grateful to be there. And once we were used to the cold, that's when the fun began. The cold is beautiful. Oh my god! What? So after an amazing ice bath at home, we just came and had an ice bath out in nature. No better way to end the day. <sighs> I was so happy. And as Adam would say, it was very nice. <laughs> we started hiking back to the car and because I'm so clumsy, I almost fell. Oh my god! No, no! <laughs> You guys, we just went swimming in a waterfall. It was beautiful. It was amazing. It was freezing cold. 
cold, but it was so nice, so refreshing, and it was so worth it. One of my aims with this video, if you haven't seen my intro video, was to live in the moment and just be present. And honestly, during the two hours that I was at the waterfall, I didn't think of anything else. You're just like fully immersed, you're enjoying the experience, and also pushing yourself because it's challenging. Like it's very, very cold. So it's challenging, but in a good way. So yeah, I'm so happy. And now we're going back to the car and we have to go through these tunnels again. It is honestly one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. The river is just between like two massive, like, comment ça s'appelle une faille? And now we're back where it all started and we need to climb this fence again. And so we headed back to the car and headed back home. And that marks the end of day one. It was such a good day. We had so much fun. We pushed ourselves. Even Angie pushed herself. By eating chips. <laughs> Honestly, cold exposure is so, so rewarding. It has so many health benefits in the long run. Try it out for yourself. It makes Don't, you feel alive. <laughs> it makes you feel alive. Don't take my word for it. Try it yourself. Honestly, it's just great. Especially if you do it with friends who you know, want to yeah. do it with you. We're gonna go to bed now because we have a really long day ahead tomorrow, but subscribe to follow our adventures and I will see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.